So, do you remember that feeling when you were about to go on a first date? Do you remember the day that you got your driver's license? How about the day that you graduated from middle school or high school or entered high school? Your first job interview? How did you feel at these times? Uh, did you kind of feel maybe your hands sweating a little bit? Uh, maybe your heart is racing a little faster than usual. Do you think to yourself, oh my gosh, is this really happening right now? Do I have to go through this? What's going to happen when I do go through this? What is the outcome going to be? That, my friends, is the feeling of nervousness. And it can be pretty terrifying sometimes. Uh, but there's more to it than that. So what exactly is nervousness? Or being nervous? What does that mean? Well, it's kind of along the lines of being agitated or, or being kind of anxious, um, being defensive, cautious. And we most frequently get this way when we are going into something that maybe we don't know anything about or we've never done before. We don't know what the process is going to be like and we don't know the outcome. So it's kind of seeing in the dark. You don't know what's there. It's kind of terrifying. And it would be safe to assume that the thought of something unknown it can also be something scary. But should we actually think about it that way is the question. Is it concludingly wise to um, think that anything that makes you nervous should automatically be associated with fear and then in turn you are defensive and, and, and never approach that situation? Okay, now if we're gonna assume that nervousness is associated with fear, then we should also bring together a majority of situations. These situations can involve uh, protecting your actual human body and being safe in an invalid context, taking a plane across the country to pursue that opportunity that might change your life, or it could be something a lot more challenging like attempting to run a marathon. Now I don't know about you, but I would much rather prefer to use the word nervous in context of pursuing things that are greater than being fearful. And by fearful, I mean like risking your life. So if we rebuttal this and talk about it with that kind of perspective of uh, pursuing the greater things, then it's amazing and you should pursue it at all costs. Well, I mean to pursue that career that you've always wanted. Flip some things for some extra money if you need to, save up and invest that into some business. 10 years later, what do you know? You've made it. It's also investing all your time into two weeks of studying for that exam that means a lot to you. And what do you know? This also applies to riding your bike for the first time without training wheels. All of these situations that most people experience in their lives um, are associated with nervousness, but they are all wonderful good things that make you grow as a human being and encourage ambition, free will, creativity, all of the good things. And now that you're watching this video, that same thing applies to YouTube and to anything that you want to pursue in life. That kind of same thing applies to me. Uh, we are all nervous initially and it takes time, but if you keep going at it, you will no longer be nervous. It'll, it'll be an extension of you. And yes, you will be nervous sometimes because it fluctuates, but if you ever do completely stop getting nervous, then it's just time to move on to the next thing after that. All right, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel for more of these films. Um, Wow, my mind just went totally blank. And turn on post notifications. I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I also do uh, live streams on Sunday at 8 p.m. MST. On this channel, you can find a completely creative vibe. Um, that's the goal of my videos. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye.